All right, so a little update on my life. Uh, I got me this leftover Bojangles biscuit from 10 o'clock this morning, and uh, every southern boy in his pickup truck in the state of South Carolina is sitting at this roadway that is now a river. Uh, unfortunately, though, they can't really get it through the brain that they can't really go on the road because it's a river. Um, so that's a little unfortunate. I'll probably be here uh, until I die, honestly, is I think the most realistic scenario. So, yeah. All right, I have made the executive decision in uh, the final hour to storm chase today in South Carolina. It's like a three hour drive where I'm going uh, and it is freezing cold outside in Charlotte because this is a giant nor'easter and these are kind of like my least favorite thing to storm chase because the entire drive there is cold and wet and gross. And then you've got like a 10 mile corridor of actual exciting weather. But I don't know, something told me to go for it. Still haven't seen a tornado this year and it's like December 17th. So this is basically the last shot I've got. So might as well go for it. Um, yeah, so I gotta go get gas and probably food because I haven't eaten yet. And then I'm going to hightail it down I-77 and uh, see what we see. So yeah, here we go. All right, made a pit stop in Columbia to get some gas really quickly uh, and also to get some food. I've got my Bojangles down there that I am very soon going to start eating, which will be fun. Uh, one of my favorite things about chasing in South Carolina, well, first of all, it's easily my favorite state to chase in. A couple reasons. One, gas here is like 50 cents cheaper than it is in Charlotte. That's awesome. Two, uh, it's just like South Carolina is a perfect size state that if you chase in one side and you have to get back to the other in a reasonable amount of time, it's not that difficult. Uh, and it's just really nice. And also, pretty great chasing terrain down in the low country. So, great place to chase. And we should get to our target area within about an hour and a half or two. So, we're getting close. I'm going to keep on driving. All right, we've got our first tornado warning of the day. I'm still like two hours away from where I need to be, but there is a sign that it is tornadoing, probably. So we'll see how that goes. All right, we're about to drive into this thing, and things are going to go downhill really quickly. I'm the blue dot, and that is a whole lot of everything. And you can also tell in front of me the skies are very gray. And, um, yeah, about to get serious pretty quickly. We're also running into a bit of lightning, uh, which it's kind of crazy because the temperature is only 58 degrees, but uh, these storms are very convective, just meaning there's a lot of lightning with them. There's a lot of uh, lift in the atmosphere here, and they are sure producing a lot of rain and even some embedded areas of rotation. Uh, so I'm heading down towards the coast here, and we're getting really close to this wall of craziness. All right, we're getting pretty deep into this line of storms now, and as you can tell, it's raining really good. Uh, winds are picking up. This area is under a flash flood emergency uh, for pretty obvious reasons, I think. This, this line of storms has been trailing over the same area uh, for a couple hours now and continues to dump very heavy rainfall from McClellanville all the way up towards Georgetown. Uh, also, coming out of uh, McClellanville off of the coast a little bit, we do have some rotation there. Uh, right over McClellanville itself, moving kind of north towards where I'm at. I'm trying to get down there to get a little bit closer to it and see if we can't, uh, you know, get some footage of it. So, uh, definitely hoping for the best here. Just kind of got to stay on the road for now, though, and not get washed away by all the rain and wind. A flash flood warning has been issued for Georgetown County, Horry County, and Marion County, effective until 5.35 p.m. All right, flooding's starting to get pretty bad out here. Again, I'm kind of between Georgetown and McClellanville, South Carolina. You'll notice, I'll do the honors of rolling the window down even. A lot of these swamps and rivers and creeks and streams are really beginning to come out of their banks now and uh, are taking over a lot of secondary roadways uh, and that is leading to some big time problems out here. I'm going to continue heading down uh, closer towards the coast uh, and uh, we'll see what happens. But this line of storms is just sitting over the exact same area. Uh, this is what we call training in the world of meteorology. 
where it's just the storms are going over the exact same areas, dumping tons of rain. And because of that, we have multiple flash flood emergencies already issued for this area, and uh, you can see why. All right, just outside of McClellanville on US Highway 17 here, you can see the kind of median between the road is just turning into swamp. Uh, and we're having a lot of water now overrunning the highway here. Um, and it's really not what you want to see. And uh, definitely one of those situations that things can go downhill very quickly, especially if you're in a lighter vehicle. Uh, luckily, I know the water is still very slim here, not too deep. I can still see the white on the roads, and I'm in a pretty high vehicle. So it's okay to kind of go through this right now. But a lot of people, this is whenever they mess up. They go through something like this. They think it's not that bad. They go flying through it. And next thing you know, your water is in uh, a big old pile of water down there. So again, it's been raining here for hours now. Likely, I haven't checked the totals, but I would imagine we're past half a foot of rainfall uh, since this event started here around McClellanville. And uh, we'll only continue to rain as the slow pressure is just kind of meandering a little bit near Savannah and just pushing all this water northward uh, up through the Gulf Stream and into the coast of South Carolina and North Carolina. And that, of course, is leading to scenes like we just saw. Just outside of McClellanville, South Carolina, here on U.S. Highway 17, you'll notice this rain is really uh, causing some big-time problems here. So I'm going to try to stop at a gas station up here. Hopefully they're still above water because uh, we're kind of running out of highway here that isn't flooded. Um, so getting a little sketchy out here, but it should be okay. So the bridge here in Georgetown, maybe South Carolina, I probably should know where I'm at. I think it's Georgetown. Let me see if any signs, I don't know, there's a food line here. Anyway, whatever big bridge goes through this town is out. So I'm having to turn around now and try to find a different crossing from this river. And unfortunately, that's going to set me back like 20 minutes um, from continuing up this highway. Uh, and also, unfortunately, there's some pretty wrong, uh, or excuse me, pretty strong rotation beginning to kind of move ashore, and taking that road would have been a great way to get to it. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to catch it. Again, going to have to just kind of take the long way here, uh, but we'll see what happens. All right, well, if nothing else comes from today, we're gonna have a lot of insurance claims filed. <laughs> um, I'm on like the third bit of this road that was supposed to be a good detour that is kind of flooded away. And it looks like I've got the first person of the day officially stuck. They're really kind of stuck up there. Um, so I don't really have a way to video them because there's like five cars in front of me. Uh, but I'm kind of entering a bit of stranded territory <laughs> and the sun sets in like 30 minutes, so. Uh, I'm not really sure what the move here is, but what I do know is uh, this is the end of the chase. <laughs> um, but I'll probably go ahead and grab video of a couple more things because I turn my hazards off. Everyone kind of knows that there's a river in the road ahead. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so this is definitely going to be the end of the chase. The sun sets soon, uh, and there's not really too much left to chase, honestly, outside of just more and more rain. Uh, now, we are going to enter a bit of a lull in this part of the area for a while. That's good. Um, the not-so-good news is... Um, that the winds are going to pick up again later tonight. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you tagging along with me and I'll see you all next time.